Oh, right. Well, I sort of have the house to myself. There is somebody else here, but I am also at the same time listening to this. But we're going to have an experiment. You see, I got two of these, uh... Oh, let's get this one out. Probably not so hard, easy with one hand. I got two of these things. And we're going to have an experiment. This one is going in the microwave. This one is already prepared to go into the stove, the oven. It's already been preheated. So all I need to do is put it in. I will do with the one hand that I've actually got. What the direction said? The direction said middle, the center rack in the oven. So that's not hard. In you go. And yes, I use an oven mitt to put things in the oven. What did that, that say? That say 35 minutes. Yeah, 35 minutes. So timer. Here we go. 35 minutes. So, that will hopefully get done and look good. I know it said it still has the plastic on it. The directions said to keep the plastic on it. It says preheat oven and then pierce the film. So, we'll see how that works. This one, I'm going to do this in the micro nuker, so I'm going to open it right now. And we'll have it, because why not? It's five, it's five o'clock, so it's, it's about dinner time. So let's try and open this box. These packages suck. I'm trying to make it so it's not like a Wilkes 85 video with a whole bunch of swear words in it. It says pierce the package, so we're going to do that. This package sucks. Did I even pierce it? Not really. Good enough, whatever. <laughs> Cook on high for six minutes, it says. So we'll go over to my nuker. Open it, being careful not to push the start button while the door is open because I've bypassed the door switch on this lovely microwave because the door switch failed a long time ago. That's six minutes. So we'll put it in there for six minutes. And that was the... Uh, that was this in here, that was the pan. I don't know why that pan does that. It, uh, I think that was the pan. Yeah, that was the pan, it bent upwards. I don't know why it does that when you put it into the oven. I really don't understand it, but it does. So it'll be a long time before I get to enjoy that as opposed to that sitting in there. So, I guess I'll enjoy my show while I'm waiting. All right, the micro nuker has finished. The directions, I think, say you're supposed to let it stand for two minutes. I never do that. I think that's worthless. Because it doesn't really matter anyways. So we're going to take this, this now very hot item here. Hopefully I don't get burnt by it. I'm going to get burnt no matter what I do. No, that's okay. We'll put that there. I'm trying to figure out this thing. It's a Bluetooth speaker, but I haven't been able to figure out what, how the hell it's supposed to work. So, we'll see. Uh, but we'll try this. We'll just remove the, remove the labeling. Does it say to stir it? I'm pretty sure you should stir it. But, maybe we won't do that. Alright. Potatoes with waterlogged. Mmm, that's not so good. Some of this stuff looks kind of dry. Which probably means that it's been microwave burnt. I don't like that, but we'll see. Maybe I'll give my give a review of this before or while I'm doing this because this uh, that might be pretty cool. Uh, so we'll stir that. We'll stir the potatoes. I know you can't see what I'm doing. I don't really care. Somehow a crouton ended up in the potatoes, which I find to be rather interesting. I think there's some other stuff that ended up in the potatoes, too. Oh, no, that's just a crouton. Okay, that's just another one. Apparently, there were two croutons that made it in there. Okay, let's try this. Uh, let's try the potatoes. Mm. 
little hot, but otherwise okay, I guess. Alright, the potatoes are okay. They could be better, but they could be a whole lot worse, too. Not bad. I'll give them a pass. Now, how about the turkey? Is that a piece of turkey? Heh. <laughs> That's a piece of turkey. And the phone's ringing now, making a video. Isn't that nice? I should really go and see what that is. Turkey's okay. Now, the stuffing. The stuffing is probably the biggest letdown. Uh, I've had one of these before. The stuffing is... It's not really what I would consider to be real stuffing. It's basically croutons and gravy and celery. And that's pretty much it. So, I don't know. I mean, that's, that's an example of what the gravy looks like. Not very appetizing. It tastes okay, but it's not very appetizing looking. And it tastes mostly like croutons and gravy. So, alright. The microwave bowl, I'll give it a pass. It's okay. It could be better, but it could certainly be a whole lot worse as well. So we'll finish that off, and then we will have our lovely dinner in there. Okay, turn that off, turn this off, so I don't get my video muted by the Music Mafia, and get out of here, we'll get my lovely dinner out of here, see if this is any good. Again, I think you're supposed to let it sit for two minutes, where's my glove, oh there it is, it's on the ground. a bit. Get this out of here without burning my hand off. Which might be a task. But here we go. Out you come. Probably spread them out a bit too far, but whatever. What are you going to do? And then it popped again. Probably burn my finger in the process. But hey, what's the fun in not burning your finger, eh? Oops, that broke. Okay. Well, already it looks a little better. And there's not all kinds of condensation all over the uh, all over the plastic or anything like that. But this this actually turned out pretty nicely. You can see the steam. Let's stir the potatoes. Get that orange stuff. I'm not sure what that is. Exactly. Maybe somebody can tell me what orange crap you're supposed to put in uh, potatoes or something. I don't really know. Alright. So. Potatoes came out better. We'll see if uh, the stuffing and the turkey is any good. Let's try the stuffing. Here's an example of what it looks like. Okay. The stuffing's not much better, but of course it wasn't really good to begin with, so... You know what they say, you can polish a turd, but it's still a turd. And with the turkey. That's pretty good. Alright. I think the verdict is in. It's much better to do it in the stove than it is to do it in the microwave, because you get a better product out of that. But of course, I bet everybody knew that. But the difference really is just startling, so... I mean, I don't know if I'll do every TV dinner I make in the stove, and the, not the stove, in the oven. I keep saying the stove for some reason. It, looks, it does have a stove top on it, but... Do it in the oven. Probably not do all of them, because obviously there will be times where I'm in a hurry, and that's why, I'll get, why I will get a TV dinner, but... That's pretty damn good. Okay. 
So I'll enjoy my dinner and you can enjoy this video. Hey, thank you for watching. If you've got any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And this is CP666 signing off. I hope to see you next time. Till then.